Hi everyone, it's Enes here. In this video, I'll tell you about why you should consider using M1 Finance and why I'm personally using M1 Finance to invest in stocks and funds. All right, with that in mind, let's jump right into it. All right, once you log in to your M1 Finance, um, you're gonna be seeing various tools that's available for you. But here in this video, I'll just focus on how a portfolio typically looks like in um, M1 Finance. So here you can see um, my, um, the visual on the left is my Roth IRA account. Um, as you can see, specifically, I got two slices under this portfolio. 50% of that slice is growth pie, 50% is income pie. Um, and then you notice that each slice will have a specific stocks and funds that I picked. Um, what's great about M1 Finance is that you can create as many slices as you want, and then under each slice, you can add as many stocks or portfolios as you like. And I would say the best thing about M1 Finance is that you have full control over what weights you want to allocate for specific stocks or funds. Um, to show you that, I'll show you some of the some of the examples here. Growth Growth Pie is where I allocate a lot of my tech stocks, futuristic stocks, and things like that. Currently, I have twenty nine slices, twenty nine pieces under that slice, and you can see target for each of these companies and funds. For instance, QQQ is eight percent, VGT Vanguard Information Technology eight percent, Block Lit Metaverse, Palantir. All these specific stocks that I think they're gonna do well in the future, so I add it to my portfolio and I have full control over it. And then at the top, you'll be able to see what dividend yield currently these companies will pay. So this dividend yield is for the total slice and then the expense ratio of that total slice. Um, at the top portion, so you can see performance. Unfortunately, because I created this slice back in January of 2022, which is a few months back. Um, so all you will see here is since when I created, this is how much I got. Unfortunately, I got 20% down and you can expect that because the entire stock market has been down um, for, for, for the last few months. All right, um, now I'm gonna go back to my main portfolio and I'll also show you my how my other slides look like. In this slide, I call it income pie. This is only focused on generating income. So I only have, not I don't have specific stocks, but I only have specific income generating ETFs. Um, JP Morgan, SCHD, QYLD, RYLD, Devo, and NUSI. These are all great um, income generation um, funds that pays me dividends monthly and then current dividend yield for this is almost 7.8 percent and expense ratio is pretty low 0.39 so as you can see i adjusted all my target percentage so each time i send a hundred dollars for this slice $25 goes to JP Morgan, $25 goes to SCHD, $15 goes to QYLD, and etc. Right? So I have great control over this, which is which is awesome. Um, when I go back to my overall portfolio again, what I can do is I set up automatic payments to this account. So let's say I send $100 each month, $50 goes to the growth pie, $50 goes to the income pie. So I don't really need to do anything else. All I need to do is send my money and M1 Finance take care, takes care of the rest. Um, so that's it, folks. I hope you guys uh, got some uh, value out of this video and thanks for watching it.